Hey everybody, so this is gonna be a Sonic Pi lesson on using samples. So up until this point, everything we've done in Sonic Pi has been sound synthesis, which means we are digitally recreating how sounds are made in nature, which we know is from a vibration. So in a digital space, we're just sort of creating a synthetic vibration that is capable of producing sound. So that's one way we can work with sound in a digital space. Now the other way we can do that is with audio files. So an audio file is like an MP3 or a WAV file or an AIF file. So uh, we could import MP3s into Sonic Pi and we could listen to them that way. But we are gonna use something called a sample. So a sample is basically just a piece of recorded audio. So some sort of sound that was recorded out in the real world and then turned into an audio file that we are then gonna play in Sonic Pi. Okay, and it doesn't have to be a real world sound. Uh, it could be like a sound synthesis, so a synthesizer sound, but we recorded that sound and then transferred it to an audio file. So basically samples require pre-recorded sound as opposed to making sound up out of nowhere. So that uh, is gonna change how we can work with them a little bit, but it gives us a lot of interesting opportunities as well. So in Sonic Pi, instead of play, which is what we use to create sounds when we wanna use synths, we are going to use the command sample. All right, now I hit sample and I hit space and right away this drop down menu comes up. So in Sonic Pi, these are all the samples that we have available to us. See, there's all the sound files that are already built into Sonic Pi that we can use and play around with and add to our projects and stuff like that. So that's great. That's so much that we have available to us right off the bat. And also you can go to the help window and if you look under samples, uh, I'm gonna pop this window out actually. So if we look under samples, it gives us sort of the categories. And then if you click to like ambient sound and you scroll down, it tells you all the samples that have this prefix of ambi and then bass drum sounds as well. So you can just go through if you wanna check these out, just, just a different place where you can see all those samples, okay? so. Uh, I got rid of the menu. I'm going to hold shift and press space and that'll bring that menu up. So I'm going to just go with this sound right off the top. This is called Ambi Choir. So I'm going to run it now. So there you hear it. All right, so I have this sound, uh, Ambi Choir, that's what it sounds like. So right off the bat, what I'm gonna recommend you do is just go through and listen to a bunch of these samples, okay? So do one, hold shift, press space bar. Let's see what the dark whoosh sounds like. Okay, so very interesting there. Again, there's like drum sounds, so I could do like uh, D and then maybe like a heavy kick drum. Okay, so that's so much, and I'm not gonna take the time to go through a lot of these, okay? So I'm gonna just gonna go back to this ambi choir for a second, okay? So I have this ambi choir sound. Now, I wanna play another sound after it. So I'm gonna use sleep, I'm gonna sleep for one, and then I'm gonna do sample. Let's do this uh, dark whoosh, okay? So now I run one. Okay, so same thing. So I can play a sound, I use the sleep command, and then I can play another sound and go like this, okay? Now I'm gonna do this other one. This is called the Lunar Land, right? Now, I'm choosing this for a reason, so let's listen. Okay, so why I chose this is you'll notice that this ambi choir sound it happens very quick and then we sleep and then we go to this lunar land. But the lunar land lasted a lot longer than this ambi choir sound did. So the thing about working with samples is they all have their own specific amount of time. So it's not like with the synths where we can use release and attack and we can change how long those sounds last for, uh, or there's a default setting. Every sample is gonna have its own time or own length that it lasts for. And those are all gonna be different depending on the sound that we are using, okay? So in this example, I play one and then it sleeps for one and then the other, which worked fine. But now I'm gonna switch this up. So I'm actually going to take this uh, and move it down 
So I'm gonna copy that, move it here below, and then I'm gonna do the same with sleep. I'm gonna move that there. Okay, so now it's gonna play this Lunar Land first, sleep for one, and then play the Ambi Choir. So listen to what happens. Okay, so the Lunar Land played slept for one beat and then I heard the ambi choir but Lunar Land was not finished playing yet so I get this overlap now maybe that's something you're going to want to happen which is fine so it's not right or wrong but it's, you just need to be aware of how these samples are going to interact with one another if you start putting sleep in here so let's say that I want this to play this Lunar Land and then wait until the Lunar Land is finished and then do the ambi choir. Now, you could play around with numbers uh, and that, you know, through trial and error, you eventually may get it, but that's gonna be really tedious and we don't wanna do that, okay? So I'm gonna comment this out for a minute. I'm gonna show you uh, this thing called sample underscore duration, okay? Now, sample duration, again, after I do that, it brings up all the list of samples. Sample duration will basically take a sample and give you the exact length of that. So this now whole piece of code actually represents a number and that number is the exact amount of time that this ambi lunar land sample lasts for. Okay so I'm gonna use puts. Puts is uh, a command that will basically put some information into this log right here. So this is helpful when I want to find out information about something in my program. So I'm going to run it. So now you see here, it gives me a number, okay? So it put the sample duration of Ambi Lunar Land, and that is this number here, 7.39424, uh, da, 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 okay? So know that when I have this sample duration Ambi Lunar Land, that this will be interpreted as this number okay now what I could do is copy and paste this number into sleep but like I said this piece of code is now just represents this number so what I'm going to do here is get rid of this puts I'm going to recomment here so now I'm saying sleep for the sample duration of ambi lunar land which is going to sleep for this number right here. So instead of me having to write this or even know this number, any sample I choose, if I do sample duration, it will just use the exact length of the sample. So I'm going to run this again. Okay, so right at the end of this sample, the next sample came in. Okay, but just keep in mind that if you're gonna play a sample and you want that sample to last for the exact amount of time as the sample you're playing, these two need to be the same. The sample and then you need to follow that with the sample duration of that same one. Because let's see what happens. I'm gonna take this ambi choir and use the sample duration of that, but I'm playing the lunar land. So let's listen. Okay. So that time it didn't play after Ambi Lunar Land. Why? Because it wasn't sleeping for the length of the Lunar Land sample, it was sleeping for the duration of the choir sample. So if you wanna play a sample and then have it sleep for the exact amount of time of that sample, you need to have the sample duration of the sample that came right before it, okay? so. I'm gonna stop here. What I want you to do is just go in and play around with a bunch of different samples, make a whole long list. You can use sleep with just numbers. You can use sleep with the sample duration. I'll say that the sample duration is much better for long samples. There's plenty of samples that are like less than one second or one beat where it's just as easy to write sleep zero and then it will last just that amount of time. And that's especially if you wanna do like drum beats or more rhythmic kind of stuff then you don't need to really get into sample duration for those, okay? So sample duration works much better for longer samples than really short samples. So play around with that, make a whole long thing of samples. You can add play in there as well uh, to just sort of mix it up a little bit so you can have samples and you can have uh, synthesizers in there as well. So play around with that first and just get acquainted with all the different samples you have available in Sonic Pi. And then the next video we'll talk about some other ways we can change and manipulate these samples.